Professor uh, Tiefer, would you seat a juror who referred to your client as an obscene body part? I'm sorry. Would you seat a juror in a trial who referred to your client as an obscene body part? I really have trouble giving you an answer, except that sounds Well, like then you would starve to death as a lawyer if you can't answer that question, Professor. You would seriously consider seating a juror in a trial, a criminal trial where your client was accused of a crime, if that juror had referred to your client as an obscene body part, you would struggle with whether or not to strike that juror? Well, it doesn't sound too good. No, it's not. And I'll give you some free litigation advice. You'll want to use one of your strikes on that juror. How about if you were a prosecutor and one of the potential jurors referred to the police as terrorists who are going to bring the country down? Would you seat that juror in a, in a criminal prosecution if you were the prosecutor? I, I wish I saw the connection here, but... That's I'll give you the good. connection. Lois Lerner just referred to conservatives as an obscene body part, and she said we were crazies and likened us to terrorists. Well, Mr. Chairman, uh, if... You I are not recognized. The gentleman from Georgia is not recognized. Well, would the gentleman yield? No, sir, I will not. Let's go to the regulation, Professor. Conflict of interest for the department. People like standards. They like bright lines. So I thought it'd be interesting to go find out what the Attorney General's standard is for recusal. And you know when he recuses himself? I'll quote him. When there's the potential appearance of a conflict, he recused himself from a criminal prosecution when there's the potential appearance of a conflict. Those are his words, not mine. So that's the standard for where when there should be a conflict, I want us to analyze whether or not there could possibly be the potential appearance of a conflict. You have the Excuse President me. of the United States. When I ask a question, it will be very clear, Professor. The, the President of the United States in the most widely viewed television show in our country said there's not a smidgen of corruption. You don't think that is the potential appearance of a conflict? For the issue of a special counsel, which is what I'm here for, I think. How about give me a yes or a no, and then you can explain your answer. I think it's irrelevant what the president says to whether there's a what, conflict of interest. What if a judge says, let's go give this guilty bastard a trial? Is that irrelevant? W would you want that judge? If, if he prejudged the outcome of a prosecution, said, let's go give this guilty guy a fair trial. Given the independence of the public integrity section for the last 30 years, I don't think it matters what... So you don't think says. it matters that the chief law enforcement officer for this country, before there is an investigation, while there are emails missing, before he's analyzed one scintilla of evidence, prejudges and says there's not a scintilla of corruption. You don't think that matters. You don't even think it creates the potential appearance of a I, conflict. I, ab I absolutely reject that the standard here is the standard you're naming for recusal. If he recuses himself, it's still the same justice. How about when the Department of Justice trades emails with Lois Lerner seeking to implement an idea from a Democrat senator? Do you know Senator Whitenhouse? My understanding is the idea was rejected after the meeting in question, that the idea was... I, I'm simply rejected. saying, do you really want the Department of Justice and the IRS taking their prosecutorial advice from a Democrat senator? I, 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 thought, I thought the Department of Justice was blindfolded. I'm glad they rejected the idea. I'm, I'm sad that they even discussed it. I'm sad that they even discussed pursuing... Because when the AG sits where Professor Rotunda is, all we hear about is how he doesn't have the resources to actually do his job. And now they're going to contemplate manufacturing false statement cases?